good. All right. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Okay. So I want to talk about kind of, kind of a, a follow-up, right, to what happened at Closers College, right? In Closers College, I trained on the four types of insurances. You guys got a chance to see that, right? You got a chance to see me talk about the Camry, the Lexus. I believe Reggie gave us the RV as his Ferrari version and then the Pinto, right? And so one question that a lot of people ask me is, well, Tony, you know, term insurance is kind of easy to explain, right? GUL is kind of easy to explain, but the IUL that you give us in that four types of insurances presentation it, 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 what it does is it creates the interest, but now people want to know more. They want to dig a little bit deeper. Like, wait a minute, I'm interested in that RV or that Ferrari or that Bugatti or whatever that car is, right? Um, I, I was recently looking at some trucks. I'm looking to do some stuff to my truck. And I, man, I found some, I, I found some trucks like they go for like 80, $90,000. <laughs> like these trucks nowadays are like, are like, are like, uh, are luxury cars, man. <laughs> Man, there's a Denali GMC that I was like looking at it. It was lifted up. It was a, a 2,500 GM. Oh my God, it was sexy. Anyways, anyways. So the big question was, what do you do when someone says, I'm interested in that Ferrari? I really like that Ferrari. Can you tell me more about it? Okay. There's, there is something you can do. Okay. There's a presentation that you can do that'll dig deeper into how a Ferrari works, into how an IUL works. A big mistake people make in this industry is they believe that they should sell based on the illustration. That's not true. Let me tell you something. If you look at an illustration and you see those numbers start to salivate, okay, chances are you work in the industry. You're crazy as hell, okay? <laughs> if you get excited looking at an illustration, just understand that that's just you. The consumer does not get excited looking at the illustration. To them, it's just a spreadsheet with a bunch of numbers. Okay, so you got to dig deeper. Okay, so my process is simple. Once I do the four types of insurances and I ask them of these type of insurances, which one are you more interested in? And they tell me, I really like this Ferrari. I really like this IUL. Then what I do is I go, okay, well, let me, let's, let's dig a little deeper about how this plan actually works. I'm going to give you a presentation that I call the two buckets presentation. No lie. I've been doing this now for 10 plus years, this presentation. Okay. If you're face to face legal pad, tear it out. Boom. When I work with a legal pad, black Sharpie, it's thick, it's clean, it's clear. If you do it with a pen, it's going to be hard to see black Sharpie. If you're working virtual meetings, look, I, did, I mean, look, if you guys notice, sometimes I do training and I'm in a different environments because I have an office upstairs, I have an office downstairs, just kind of depending on who's home and where the heck I want to work for the day. But I, I have one of these boards, both upstairs and downstairs. This one just came in today from Amazon. And so let me give you the two buckets presentation. And again, stories tell, I'm sorry, stories sell and facts tell. You're telling a story the entire time. Okay. So here's your two buckets presentation. Mr. Klein, what if I showed you an investment, okay, where you got this bucket, okay? And in this bucket, you can put however much money you want, right? Now, this bucket is going to earn an interest based on how you want it to earn. There's three ways that money grows. The first method is the fixed method. The fixed method is a predictable environment. You know exactly what you're going to make. It's going to be whatever that interest rate is. You can get a calculator, figure out what the future number is going to be exactly. The pro to this environment is that it's safe. It's very predictable. The con to this environment is that typically interest rates are very, very low. When people think of those environments, they think of what? The banks, right? The checking accounts, the savings account. Let me ask you a question. How much are you earning out of your savings account right now? 0. 0.000, add another zero, three, five. Somewhere around there, okay? This is where right about 80% of America loves to put their money because their environment is safe and predictable. 
Second place you can put your money is the, the stock market. And what does the stock market do? It does that. It goes up and down and up and down and up and down. People don't go here for the safety. Would you agree? Not the safety. They go here because they want to retire up here and they're willing to gamble ending up down here. They go here not for safety. They go here because of the rate of return. About 15% of people go here. I'm going to call this guy Steady Eddie. I'm going to call this guy Aggressive Al. Steady Eddie, predictable, aggressive Al. Okay? The third environment is where the wealth of America love to put their money. They absolutely, utterly love putting their money in this environment. This is an environment called indexing. Mr. Klein, have you ever heard of index funds? No, do me a favor. Go on Google and type up Warren Buffett index funds. You know who Warren Buffett is, don't you? Well, yes, I do. Okay. Would you agree Warren Buffett has a lot, is, is, a, is a master guru of investments? Yes. Well, Warren Buffett endorses this index fund strategy. Index funds is nothing but a measurement of a collective group of investments. It's an average rate of return of this group. Sometimes this group is the top 500 companies in the United States. We know that group as the S&P 500. Sometimes that group is the top 100 companies in the United States. We know that group is the Barclays. Some, it, it's an index nonetheless, right? So what this environment says is if the market goes up, we're gonna go up with the market, but to a limit. We're, not, we're gonna have a ceiling, a cap. Now, why on earth would anybody take on a cap? They take on a cap on the ceiling because they also have a floor on the bottom. And the floor says if the market goes down and people are losing, you're going to stay where you last left off. You're not going to lose anything. And then when the market starts to come back up, you're going to come back up from where you last left off. That means that your money starts to kind of go like grow like a staircase. If the market goes up, I make money. If the markets go down, I don't lose anything. My floor is zero, zero. So when the markets crash, aggressive Al is freaking out. He just lost 20, 30% of his portfolio. Are you freaking out? No, you didn't lose anything. You kept your original principal and you kept any, any earnings that you were making over the prior years. It's yours, right? Now, when the markets go up, aggressive Al is barbecuing, but guess what? You're also barbecuing because you're making money when the market goes up as well too. Now, this environment is managed and governed by the banks. This environment is managed and governed by the stock market. This environment is managed and governed by insurance companies. Now, you might say, well, what's, what, what's the benefit in putting money in an insurance company? I'll tell you exactly what it is. All the money you earn here grows tax-free. Tax stinking free. Mr. Klein, do you get paid W-2? Yes, most people do, right? Most of our clients do. Mr. Client, when you earn money and you get paid, is it once every two weeks, once a week, or once every two weeks? Okay. When your paycheck comes in and you look at that stub, what are the things that they take out of your account before they give you your money? Anyone know the answer to that? Go ahead and unmute yourself. What do they take out of your bank? What do they take out of your paycheck before they give you your money? Taxes. Taxes. That's right. Taxes, right? So let me ask you a question, Mr. Client. If Uncle Sam didn't dip into your bank, into your W-2, into your paycheck and let you keep that money, how different would your life be? I mean, if you add that up, that's like, to something, that's three to $600 a month. That's a car payment. You know, anybody making six figures in a W-2, that's a thousand to 1500 bucks a month. That's a mortgage payment. I mean, let's just be honest. If you got to keep that money, that changes your lifestyle. Well, the reason people go into this environment is not only because of the safety, not only because of the rate of return, but also because it grows tax-free. So if I'm telling you, so if I had an investment, which is this bucket, and you can put however much money you want, what kind of, what way would you want this money to grow? Safe, risky, or indexed? Most people say indexed. So we we got the bucket. We put in however much money we want or however, however little money we want, knowing that this environment gives me the floor guarantee 
of the safety environment, the top rate of return of the risky environment, the tax-free benefits of the indexing strategy. That sounds too stick and good to be true. What's the catch? Here's the catch. The catch is this. This bucket has a little spigot here on the side. And that spigot is pouring out some of your money. And it's pouring it into this other bucket right here. Now this bucket is insurance. It's insurance. For, for, this, for all intents and purposes, let's call it $500,000 of insurance. What kind of insurance? Liability insurance? No. What kind of insurance? Cell phone insurance? No. What kind of insurance? You know, uh, renter's insurance? No. How about life insurance? And what this $500,000 basically says is if you die, we're going to give your family this $500,000 worth of life insurance plus the cash that you have in there. That's a death benefit. But in addition, if you become sick, injured, or ill, like a cancer, like a stroke, like a heart attack, those types of things can take you out of commission. You might not be able to work during that recovery process. Heck, your health insurance might not cover some of the procedures. Well, this insurance is also going to give you what's called living benefits. And the living benefits will let you tap into this money before you tap into this money. This is savings. This is retirement. This is, excuse my French, in case shh happens, right? That's what this is, right? So if you want this, and you want all the benefits of working with an investment grade insurance company, then you also have to have an insurance policy with the company that you're working with. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm essentially trying to tell you. I'm letting you know what the perks are of investing with an insurance company. The P stands for protection. Your biggest financial asset is protected. And that biggest asset is you, Mr. Client. There's no investment that makes more money than your ability to earn a living. So we're going to protect you. That money could be used for emergencies. You know why? Because this silly little 59 and a half rule that the 401k has that says if you tap into the money before retirement, you pay a penalty and you pay taxes. This doesn't have that. It doesn't have a 59 and a half rule. So you could tap into that money for any, any necessity and you can use it as an emergency account. You can use that money to retire, which is what a lot of people will typically do. They'll say, hey, how much do I have in there, right? Oh my God, I earned six to 8% on this money. It's completely tax-free. Can I take it out like a lump sum? Can I take it out like a, like a lifetime income? Yes, I can. They use it to retire. Some people will use it for college planning for their kids. They'll say, man, I don't know. Maybe my kid's gonna be a genius and he gets a full ride. Do I have to use this money for college? No. Maybe my kid's dumber than a bag of rocks and doesn't want to go to college. Do I have to use this money for college? No. But if your child goes to college and has a need for the money, you can use that for college if need be. And if you don't need it, you can redirect it towards retirement. That's pretty good. Or you could just use this money for whatever type of savings you want. Because let's be honest. You put away 200 bucks a month in a savings account first month. You put another 200 the second month. You put another 200 on the third month. You put away how much money? 600 bucks. If you end up in the hospital, you've only got $600 to play with. If you pass away, you're only leaving your family with 600 bucks. If you do the same thing in this strategy, and then on the third month or the fourth month, you pass away, you leave your family with what? 500,000. If you end up in the hospital medically ill, you have access to what? 500,000. So you can just use this for savings. What's the negative to this vehicle? I'll tell you what the negative is. It is not in any way, shape, or form a short-term solution. If you go into something like this and you decide to play with the wealth of America's investments, you're putting money into this bucket for at least 10 years. Minimum 10 years. Minimum. Some advisors will tell you, you only got to put money in for seven years. Those people only care about the commission. I'm here to tell you, a healthy plan like this needs a minimum of 10-year contribution. You put in seven years, I'm going to guarantee you you're going to get back less than what you put in if you decide to pull out early. But if you give me at least 10 years, 
I can at least get you back 100% of what you put in. And if you give me 20 years, I'll double your money. You give me 30 years, I'll quadruple your money. Tax-free. Tax-free. Mr. Client, your tax professional is there to help you save on taxes today, but doesn't really care about what you have to deal with for taxes when you retire because he's not in business any longer. So who do you know right now that is concerned with the future version of yourself? My job is to make you feel a little bit uncomfortable today so you can be more comfortable later. The question is, can you see yourself doing what the wealth of America does? Can you see yourself worrying about your last name more than your first name? Can you see yourself putting a monthly dollar amount in here that's greater than what you pay your cell phone company? Because let's be real. We always pay our cell phone bill every time, no matter what. But is your cell phone carrier going to start giving you money back at 60 years of age just because you've been such a good client to them? No. This strategy requires you to pay yourself first. So Mr. Client, what would you like to do next? That's my presentation. That's my two buckets presentation. This is the, the gut check presentation. This is the, are you really interested in tax free retirement? You're really interested in that Ferrari? You're really interested in that, in that RV? I cannot. And I say this to you now from a, from, a, from a psychology of sales experience, okay? You cannot sell this like it's the greatest thing since sliced bread and there's nothing wrong with it. Anything that gets presented as too perfect, someone will stop. They won't do anything with it. But if you present it like, look, this is what the wealth of America does because they're willing to pay that price. They're willing to stop thinking short term and they're willing to start thinking long term. They're willing to play in the big leagues. You know what it is when you look at someone in the face and say, listen, if you're really ready to play in the big leagues, if you're really ready to do what the wealth of America does, if you're really ready to work and focus more on your last name than your first, this is for you. But if it's not, don't do it. More people are willing to do it when I take it away from them versus people doing it because I'm throwing it on them. I'm not, I'm not throwing anything on you. You got to earn this. And I'm the gatekeeper to get you to this. So Mr. Client, how much money do you want to do, you want to do here on a monthly basis? You know what I do for, you know, when I, I get a 40 year old client that says to me, I want to do this, but I'm going to put a hundred bucks a month. You know what I do? Nope, this ain't for you. You might think, Tony, you're crazy. That's 1200 in annual premium. I don't care about the annual premium. It's not for you. You're 40 years of age. You're only going to give me what, 20 years to compound your money before you hit 60 and want to retire? In 20 years, I can't do nothing with 100 bucks a month. Forget having a savings conversation. We need to have a budget conversation. We need to have an income conversation with you first. Because if all you're giving me at 40 years of age is 100 bucks a month, we've got bigger problems. This is not for you. I'll take it away from them. Let's do a budget, Mr. Client. Let's figure out what you can do. You know, 90% of the times when I do a budget with most families, those families can actually afford five, 600 bucks a month if they just change their spending habits? Most families can if they just simply change their spending habits. Most families are spending a thousand bucks a month just on eating out. 250 bucks a month in their Starbucks bill. 200 bucks in their Dunkin' Donuts bill. Just eating out, guys. I mean, I'm not talking about a big family. I'm talking about husband, wife, two kids go out to eat. It's 150 bucks every time you go out, but they go out twice a week, right? That's 300 bucks a week. That's 1200 bucks a month. But then they, they want to retire. I want to retire. I don't know why I don't have a nice car. I don't know why I don't have nice things. Yeah, I know why. Because you spend 300 bucks every, every Saturday and Sunday on going out to eat. How about you change some of your spending habits and, and, and start thinking about the benefits you give yourself and the benefit you give your family by being able to put money away and retire. Because think about it this way. I'm going to talk to you now like, you know, like from a, from a community standpoint, right? You know, my kids, 10 and 11. Do you really think I want my kids at 60, when I'm 65 or 70 years of age, do you really would think I want them worrying about whether or not I could stand on my own two feet? Do you really think I want my son and my daughter when I'm 65, 70 years of age you know, feeling sad for me because I'm still working and I'm not able to retire. 
or if something bad financially happens, they got to step in and help me. I don't want them worried about me when I hit retirement. I don't. I don't. And that's my gift to them. Kids, listen, you know what my gift is to you? When I'm 65, when I'm 70, when you're in your 30s, you'll never have to worry about me. You worry about your spouses. You worry about your kids because I'll make sure that I'm putting money away now to take care of me later. That's what that's that. that this is this is big boy conversation now we're having. And sometimes you got to be willing to have that conversation with people. Sometimes you got to be able to say, listen, I got to get you a little bit uncomfortable today, man. You're spending 1500 bucks just to go out to eat. You think you're doing your family a service just because instead of cooking something at home, you're getting them, you're getting them sushi and you're going to the fine dining places to go eat at. No. How about you make sure that your kids aren't stroking a check every single month when you turn 60 and 70 having to pay your bills because, because of the mistakes you made in the past. That's real talk. So when I have that conversation, you know what they typically do? They'll go, damn, you know what? You're right, man. Listen, we're, we're going we're gonna to stop eating out so much. You know, and you know what I tell them? I go, look, I'm not telling you not to eat out anymore. I'm just telling you, you ain't got to do it every single Saturday and Sunday. You know what I mean? Like you're spending 1200 bucks a month on eating out. Why don't you go out to eat every other Saturday and Sunday? That way, when you do retire, you could eat out when you're in your 60s and 70s and not be sucking on ramen noodle because you can't pay the bills. Like that's, that's a different mindset there. They give me the number. They give me a commitment. Do you know what I do then? You, you, you think I'm crazy. I could take the application without showing them the illustration. I repeat it. I could take the application without showing the illustration. My language to them is simple. How much can you put into here every month? They're going to say, I could put 300. Okay. Mr. Client, if I apply for you at 300, okay, and the underwriter comes back and tells me to meet your insurance needs and to meet your savings needs, it's not going to cost 300. It's going to cost 350. Are, am I dead in the water? Am I dead in the water if it comes back and I'm close to 300? You know what 90% of people say? Yes. No, that's no problem. I could do that. Okay, cool. So here's the next steps. We got to apply with this company. We got to apply. We got to submit an application at 300 bucks and see what they say. We're not going to know what the final numbers are going to look like until they've looked at your criminal record, your driving record, your medical record, and said, here's exactly what this plan would look like for this person based on what we know about them. At that point in time, we can take a look at the numbers and see if it makes sense. Mr. Client, what do you want to do next? It's going to take it's going to take four to six weeks to get you underwritten, just so you know. And I want you to know, I work with the best of the best in my team. I work with three individuals that un unstoppable type of individuals. I'm going to introduce you to every one of them. The first individual's name is Howard Rabinowitz. When he calls you and he submits the application, I promise you, when he calls, you want to answer. The next person after you're going to be working with is Sandra Lopez. Sandra's going to be your case manager. Sandra's going to create a group chat with you, me, and her in it. And she's the person that's going to go to bat for you. And she's the person that's going to be talking to the company about getting you approved. She's going to be dealing with the big, bad underwriters. If Sandra needs something, I recommend you get it to her quickly. Because the longer an application stays in the hands of the underwriter, the more they can poke and prod at it. And her job is to get it out of their hands as fast as possible. Do you know, Mr. Client, if you ask me a question, I, get, I, I just got to go to her and see what the answer is. So I'm going to give you direct access to her so you don't got to worry about having a delayed answer. Mr. Klein, once you're approved, I'm gonna introduce you to Tanisha. Tanisha, just so you know, she's gonna go over the final policy for you. She's gonna tell you exactly what you qualify for and what your next steps are. But I just need to know, if we, if we take action to this, I need you to understand we gotta qualify you. This isn't for everybody. And I need to know that if you're telling me 300 bucks a month is what you can do and it comes back at 350, I don't wanna do all that work and it comes back at 320, 330, 340 and you tell me, no. Am I okay to apply for three to 350? Yes, that's what the client typically says. And they apply. Now, does anybody know why I want that little very, that little, that little window, that little cushion, three to 350 or two to 250? Whatever number they tell me, I always go up by 50 bucks. Anybody know why? To make sure that their insurance total that they need is covered and you can use that with term insurance if necessary. There you go. Remember, we're insurance agents. 
All I did is I talked about a product and they give me a monthly dollar amount. But, and, but when I sell this pro product, they're thinking savings. They're not thinking insurance. I still need to do a dime analysis and figure out how much insurance they really need. Most people need 750 to a million dollars. I'm going to tell you right now, there's not an IUL on the planet that you could put 300 bucks a month in that'll get them 750 to a million dollars of coverage. It's just not going to happen. So that little extra that I give them is to be able to sell them a supplemental term policy. So I'll typically do two, 300 in IUL based on the two, 300 a month that they can afford, but then I'll do a half a million dollar term policy or a, a $650,000 term policy. And that term policy is what costs that extra 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 bucks a month. Because I want to meet their savings needs and their insurance needs. That's how I, that's how I sell dual policies. That's how I sell it. Boom. You guys want a tip for your clientele? When the carrier get, approves them, when the carrier approves them, you tell the, ask the insurance company, Mr. Mr. Underwriter, how much more insurance can my client get without any further underwriting? Like some, you know, we apply IULs at, you know, a half a million, but maybe the person qualifies for a million with no further underwriting. Ask the underwriter, how much more coverage can this client obtain without any further underwriting? And the, and, and the underwriter will tell you, well, this person can get another 250,000 if they wanted to. Okay, cool. That's all I needed to know. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You know what you do when you deliver the policy? You bring with you a 10-year or a 20-year or an annual renewable, something very low cost of that dollar amount of insurance. So if the, if the underwriter tells me, well, this client could get an extra 250 of insurance with no further underwriting, I'm going to bring with me on the delivery a quarter million of annual renewable term or a quarter million of 10-year term or a quarter million of 20-year term. And it's probably only going to cost an extra 15, 20 bucks. And when I deliver the policy, I'm going to say, listen, just so you know, the company for an extra $20 more, they're going to give you an extra $250,000 of insurance. You're already approved. I told them that I would ask you. You don't got to do any further underwriting. You just got to, you just got to say you want it. I'll send you the electronic application. You're already approved, ready to go. It's an extra 20 bucks. I didn't know. What do you think? You know what most people say? Sure. Extra 20 bucks. No problem. Before you know it, you sold an IUL. You sold a term policy to offset the shortage on the, on the dime analysis. And you sold an extra $250,000 of additional insurance with a simple, you know, annual renewable term product or a term product or, or a 10 year term policy. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. And I, I, I've yet to show illustrations. I'll show the illustrations on the delivery. I'll show the illustrations on the delivery. Does that make sense or does anybody have any questions? That's my process. I've been doing this presentation, this two, the two buckets presentation, Ooh, long, long time. And, and let me show you this for my, for my technology people that don't like to draw, they want to use a flip chart, they, you know what I mean? Look at this. Go into the website. Go into documents and resources. Open it up. Go into presentations. Live chart sales. Open. Ready? You ready? You sure you're ready? I think you're ready. I'll show you. I think you're ready. Watch this, let it open up. Da -da -da -da. Services we offer, companies we represent, dime analysis, four quadrants. Look, there's your four, four types of insurances, term, GUL, IUL, Pinto. Oh, but I'm interested in the IUL. I really wanna learn more. Okay, well, here's the three ways money grows. And then look at that. Does that seem familiar, guys? Does that seem familiar? That looks like two buckets. That looks like fixed, variable, and indexed. Oh my God, is that perks? That is, those are the perks that Tony was talking about. Is that the 59 and a half rule getting crossed off? Yes. Is that the 200, 400, $600 a month example that he gave? Yes. By the way, this strategy 
was invented and, uh, and, and, and is real because of a tax code that was created in 1904. That tax code for my, tech, my, te my, my technical people, it's 7702-A. Internal Revenue Code Book 7702-A. And this competes, it's crazy and it's ridiculous. This competes with a tax code that was created in 1969. That tax code is Internal Revenue Code 401-K. That's why they call it a 401k. It was created in 1969 when taxes were at 80%. Not realizing that there's a tax code that's over 100 years of age that earns your money tax-free. Yet the 401k tax code says, don't pay taxes now, pay 100% on taxes later. This one says, pay taxes on the seed money now, take out the harvest completely tax-free. This is where the wealth of America loves to go because of this tax code right here because of that tax code right there. But if for my flip chart people, there it is right there. Tax now, tax later, tax advantaged. It's all there for you guys. This is my 401k presentation, but I think I'll make that next week's training or maybe this Saturday's training. Any questions? No? Okay. Let me close it off with this. Let me see, nothing wrong with creating any convenience or future benefits, legacy, like that, good stuff, cool. All right, let me close it off with this. You ever, you ever meet with a client and they tell you, oh, you know, I'm getting some quotes and, uh, you know, they're, they're price conscious. They're not thinking IUL. They're thinking term insurance. If you ever compete with term insurance, it's not just about the price that lets you win the relationship. Sometimes it's the added benefits. So, for example, we all know State Farm, Allstate, Primerica, Northwestern Mutual, all of those companies, they don't have living benefits in their term insurance policy. So it's an easy slam dunk. Mr. Client, let me talk to you about what living benefits does, right? Like what companies can you sell with amazing living benefits? National Life Group, American National, North American. Awesome, awesome stuff. You can easily win just with those benefits, right? But what if you're dealing with a company, what if you're in competition with a company that does have living benefits? And the prices are similar. So their living benefits, our living benefits are about the same. Price is about the same. Is there another company you can bring to the table that provides added benefits? Does anybody know? Anybody know the answer to that? Anybody know the answer to that? If you had to find a term insurance policy that had the most benefits than any other company, what company would you go with? National Life Group. No, Foresters. There it is, Foresters. So let, let's, let me set the record straight. NLG has the best living benefits that I've ever seen. They do. But what if you're dealing with a company that has living benefits, you present them NLG, has living benefits, although NLG might give them a higher percentage towards the living benefits, it's not enough to motivate the client. You go to Foresters. Here's why. Foresters is a fraternal company. Fraternal companies have to provide what's called member benefits. These are ancillary perks that are given to you just because, just because you have a product with them. They're not living benefits, they're member benefits. Okay. Let me, I don't know if I have a flyer on that. Let me see here. Do, 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 do. Carriers. Where is marketing, maybe? Carriers. Oh, man. Ah, yes, I do. Okay. So again, you go to documents and resources in the TKO website. Open it up. You go to marketing. Marketing. Care, the next folder after that is carriers, and you'll see a Forester's um, folder. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what some of these member benefits are because they are ridiculous. Um, I'm going to also tell you right now, if there's any of you, let me see, 200, yes, okay. Any of you married, um, husband and wives, mom and dad still together, raise your hands. Anybody in that situation, you'd be, you're blessed if you are. I'm, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not, right? So I got divorced. I have children with a woman that I'm no longer with. Anybody here married? to the father or the mother of their children still to this day. Raise your hands. Irvin, anybody else? 
We need to do better, damn it. <laughs> Let me see. Me, Tanisha. Tanisha, okay, perfect. Forsters is great. Howard, yes, my man, Rabinowitz. Let me tell you why. Okay, so here's what member benefits are. These are just ancillary benefits that Forsters offers, okay? Well, the one I love the most, I'm going to go right to it, is called an orphan benefit. If the child loses both guardians, mom and dad, then the child is going to get not only the insurance policy that you applied for, whatever it is, 300, 500, a million, whatever, but they're also going to get an additional 800 bucks a month until the child turns 18 with a minimum of eight children. And that money could be used by whoever the new guardian is of the child to help raise the child. That's huge. Why do I think that's a, I mean, that's a slam dunk sale for people where mom and dads are still together is because the probability of mom and dad passing away at the same time is bigger when mom and dad are together than when mom and dad are separate. Right? Like right now, if something happens to me in a car accident, chances are my kid's mom is still there because she's not in the car with me. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of a, an exaggerated example, but it's a real example. I mean, it's a real example, right? So I love that benefit. When I talk to husbands and wives, mom and dads are still together. They just had a baby. When you get a mom and dad and they just had a baby and they're thinking this little bundle of joy, that is the perfect time to capitalize on that benefit An orphan benefit. There's also an orphan scholarship program that's inside of anybody who has forester. So if the child becomes an orphan, they can apply for scholarship programs. If your client lives anywhere where there's a natural disaster, for example, California has what? Earthquakes, right? Florida has what? Hurricanes, right? Heck, now Texas, Louisiana, New York, and all of them got to do with hurricanes too. There's a natural disaster benefit in this plan. If you're impacted by a natural disaster, you'll get cash from the insurance company. Not a lot, like four or 500 bucks, but you get that benefit. You get that benefit as well there too, right? Am I sharing the screen? Yes, no, maybe. I'm not, okay. Let me, there it is. This is it, this is the member benefits flyer, right? So look at the, look at, you have the orphan scholarship program I just talked about, emergency assistance program, that's the emergency relief program if you're, if you're, if you're hit by a natural disaster. Grant programs, okay? The uh, Foresters always provides like free tickets to different events that they're doing like Barnum and Bailey's Wrigley, Wrigley the Circus, um, sporting events. Like you just call them up and say, hey, are there, any, are there any events happening in my local town that I can qualify for some free tickets, right? They, they provide that for you. Um, they provide a thing called Legal Links. Legal Links is like... Um, like Legal Shield, you get a legal department you can call and talk to someone in reference to advice. If you need to put together a will or a testament or something like that, you have that department that you could contact. There's the orphan benefit. And look, they up the number, a monthly payment to orphans, which may pay 900 bucks per month per child until the child is 18 years of age, as long as both mom and dad both passed away. Terminal illness, family fun events benefits, community involvement benefits, Community involvement. So agents, talking to you now, agents, you all should get a forester's policy. I don't care if it's five bucks a month. Get a forester's policy so you can become a member and get these benefits because then you can call foresters up and say, hey, listen, I'm a licensed agent, but I'm also a member. I want to host an event. I want to host a community event. Excuse me. I want to host a community event and they'll give you money to host the event as long as you go as a representative of foresters. They'll give you money to host your own event. So imagine you host your own event and you call up all of your clients and you invite them to join, you invite them to attend, you call prospects, you invite them to attend. It's funded by foresters, you just have to have what? You know, a couple of foresters business cards, a little, probably a little booth, like a career center would be great, right? You get a chance to do that. You get a chance to do that. Those are some of the member benefits. So now you're competing with, you know, you got a client you're trying to win and you're competing for their business and they tell you, I already have life in term life insurance or this other guy's quoting me for some term life insurance with living benefits and it's about the same price as the one you're offering. Bam, foresters. 
well, Mr. Klein, does that program offer an orphan provision? Does it offer a scholarship program? Does it give you money in the event of a natural disaster if you don't pass away? Is it, is it going to give you access to a legal department for, 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 for will and testament advice? Like, do you have that? No, because this automatically gives it to you. Oh, and by the way, you're going to get an, also an additional $300,000 of the accidental death benefit. So you have your normal death benefit, then you have accidental death benefit, then you have all the living benefits. All right there. All right there. Tony, this sounds great. I'm not contracted with foresters yet. Don't worry. You can go into the TKO website, mobile quick quotes. I'm still sharing the screen, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Foresters, bam, look at this. Plan right is their final expense. Your term is their term policies. Smart UL is a permanent cash value policy. I'm not too big of a fan of it, but it's a good, it's a decent UL. It should never be solicited as an IUL or a GUL because it's not that at all. But what I do sell a decent amount of is their final expense plan right and their your term term policies. Watch this, term. Medical or non-medical? You could do non-medical for up to 300,000. Five minute approval. Five minute approval, guys. You submit it, you'll get an email that says the application is submitted, you get another email after it's been approved. If you, or you could do full medical. Full medical, state of Florida. This is a 35 year old male, non tobacco, preferred. Let's do 500,000. Very price competitive as well, too. You can add a waiver of premium rider. Let's get a quote. Boom, look at that. 30 year plan, 52 bucks a month. 20 year plan, $32 a month. But I would really love, I would, abs I would absolutely love a quote. Would the owner like to get a copy of the quote? Yes. Let me email it to myself. The email has been sent. Now you get a professional quote that's been automatically sent to the email. What I recommend you do is you email it to yourself and then you forward it to the client. I'm trying to see if it'll pop up over here in a moment, as soon as my email updates. Uh, there it is. Worcester's mobile quote. Let's open it up. Give me another two more minutes, guys, and we're done with training. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can find. It's such a great value. Why am I showing you this mobile quick quotes, guys? Because you don't need a contract number to be able to run those, to be able to run those illustrations. Mobile quick quotes is open for anybody. Uh, hang on, I'm trying to show the, ah, there it is, okay. So look at this. Look at the email. Look at the quote that was instantly sent. Look how nice that looks. Maybe 10 year, 15, 20, 25, 30 year, 500,000. You know, there's your price points. I mean, it's, it's pretty decent. Right then and there, you can do it. So, you can, you can do that. And then, and then guess what? The client says, oh, I want to take the application. I want to apply. And you're like, man, I don't have a writing number yet. Crap, what am I going to do? I don't have a writing number yet. Watch this. Watch this. Let me share again. Let me go into my TKO website. Let me go into our IMO. Where are you? Our IMO. You go into the IMO's website, which is callums.com. Let me log in. Go to the more button, eApp services. Oh, there's iGo, but I don't have a writing number yet. It's okay. As long as you're not in Pennsylvania. If you're in Pennsylvania, you need a writing number first, just so you know. I think Rico is building in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. If it's a state law, you need writing numbers first. Everybody else, you can enjoy this benefit. I don't have a writing number yet. 
but I ran a full quote and I sent an illustration. I can go into EAP right here. I can do start new case. Let me put together a little sample here. Sample Martinez. That's, that's what Sandra and I would name a, a child of ours if we had one, right? Sample Martinez. <laughs> She's laughing. 38 year old male. Let's name it Martinez Sample uh, Forrester's term. You pick the state, uh, state of Florida. Let's pick a term insurance policy, term life. Let's find available products. Look at this. You can do AIG, you can do a surety, you can do John Hancock, or look, oh my God, is that Forrester's? It is Forrester's. Medical or non medical? Let's do a medical. Click that right there, and boom, you're in the e app. Now you're submitting an electronic application. You know, one of the questions someone asked me today when I was doing an interview, and, and they're looking to transition their entire agency owner, they said, their entire, their entire agency over, they said to me, How soon can we get contracted and be able to write business? I said, 24 hours. As long as you do your contracting paperwork within 24 hours, I can get you running quotes and submitting applications without even having a writing number. Now, do you know what you do once you submit a piece of business like this and you don't have a writing number? Two things you have to do, write this down, don't forget it. Two things, one, tell your VP, tell your VP. Then two, go back to the TKO website, scroll all the way down here to support center. Carrier contracting requests, click that. You put in your VP's name, your name, and then look at the questions. Do you have new business to submit? Yes. Has the new business already been submitted in iPipeline? Yes. If submitted, what's the name of the client? What's the carrier? What's the state? What's your email? Give me some comments. Send. This goes directly to my licensing team. And my licensing team then will search for that application that you submitted and attach to the application your contracting paperwork. That way, while the policy is being underwritten, you're also getting contracted and you don't have to feel like your client has to wait on you getting a writing number or you have to wait to get the writing number. You can do it all at once. Smooth flowing, smooth flowing. I think in my opinion, everybody here should be learning more about the Forester's platform, both medical and non-medical. Term insurance sales, final expense sales, Return a premium, I believe they have that. Don't quote me on that. I think they still have that. Return a premium on their term life insurance and they have a universal life policy and they have kid whole life policies. Great platform. And guess what? It's direct to carrier for everybody. Everybody. I'm talking about five minute approvals, daily pay. Are the cops high, Tony? Do we get paid well? Well, let's go back to that website that that we spent so much time and energy building out. Let's go back to the TK website. Let's go to compensation grid. Because I really want to level up. Tony, I want to level up. There's this promotion going on right now. And I got to do my part, right? Well, I'm a senior associate. Let's, let's highlight senior associate. Let's go right to Foresters. Come on now, where do you have Foresters? Oxford, for there it is, there's Foresters. Look at this, come on, come, on, come back. Ah, what in the world? It's like my system slowed down and then it sped back up all of a sudden, here we go. So final expense, 90% contract. Fully underwritten term, 65% contract. Your term simplified, 80% contract. Whole life, 90% contract. Universal life, 70, 75% contract. So you want to level up? Look, all the level ups are what? 5%, 5%, 5%, 2.5% there. I mean, they're pretty decent contracts. I know companies that they're brokers. The broker's max contract is 75. Yet the associates here, they're getting 75 already from here. They're getting 85 on the final expense side. <laughs> There it is. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. Five minute approvals, daily compensation, the ability to run full quotes without having a contract number, submit business without having a contract number. That is legit. Any questions?
No, everybody's good. All right. Well, folks, that's my training for the day. Here's what I would love for you to do. To do. I would love for you guys to do this, okay? Go on the Voxer and give me the two things that you learned today that you didn't know before. Just give me two. Do me a solid. Do me a solid. There's, there's about 17 of you guys on. Let me see two things from 17 people rather than two things from just two people. Just give me your feedback. Let me know what you think. If you're watching this as a video right now, and you're like, man, I really would love to learn more about how to do this two buckets presentation. I like to work with some field trainers that, know, that are lethal on the field. I'd love to be able to have access to speed processing the way that is. I want to know more about TKO Financial Network. I'm going to give you my phone number to call me. My number is 239-784-1118. Shoot me a text. Say, hey, Tony, I just saw your video on YouTube, and I really want to learn more about TKO. Have a good one, guys. Be blessed. I'll stay on for another minute in case you guys have any questions. But outside of that, enjoy your week and keep fighting for that level up. Keep fighting for that level up. Give some love again to Shelly, first qualifier to hit that number. Let's see who else does it. Bye-bye.